Hey everybody, it's Rob here, and today we are back with a huge nor'easter. This is probably just about the first one of the entire season, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and hop right into it. So here we are looking at, this is the GFS model, um, and this would be late night Friday going into early morning Saturday. You can see this massive area of low pressure. Um, really what a, what a nor'easter is to explain. Basically, it's a low pressure off the coast of the east that is bringing uh snowfall whatever you know high winds down from the northeast part of it because it spins counterclockwise uh, like almost like a hurricane or like a tropical cyclone style of storm um hence why it's called a nor'easter because snow is coming from the northeast so we can see this area of low pressure here as it starts to deepen in amplitude and punch up north uh, along the New England states up here to the northeast. We've got states uh, like from Delaware all the way up through uh, Boston, Massachusetts. You're going to get a lot of snow if you live in Boston, especially. Um, we can see this is uh, this is by midday Saturday. This is when a lot of that snow is going to be coming down. Some areas are probably going to be seeing, uh, I mean, anywhere from 20, 40, even maybe like 50 mile an hour wind gusts. And at that rate, you are going to be entering blizzard blizzard level conditions. So it it's going to be very tough out here for if you have to do any driving or anything. This is this is a, a casual milk and bread warning, right? Go out, do your shopping, get everything you need to do, and hunker down for the weekend, right? There's no sense in going outside and trying to you know go see family, whatever it is you might need to do. Just at the end of the day hunker down um some areas like specifically boston again you will be seeing very high snowfall rates um we're gonna go ahead and go over here and look at this will show you kind of the wind and, and this is going to be like a, a bomb cyclone where it just explodes out of nowhere you can see that the this low pressure system really deepens and just explodes out in the east this is in the span of about six hours it just becomes this massive system and it rides up the north you can see some really strong low-level winds there right along uh, again Boston right on the eastern edge of Massachusetts you you guys are really in the main uh, the main area under the gun for this is right around the eastern coast of Massachusetts again specifically the Boston area because that's the most populated range um, we're gonna go ahead and look here. Here's a more zoomed in look um, Pretty much everywhere uh, like New York all the way up here again through Boston um, You are gonna see a lot of snow in here. You will see how quickly this is. So again This is at the point. This is a uh, early morning Saturday You can see some of that snow starts to accumulate off the East Coast and as we go through into midday This is now into the uh, later afternoon into the evening Saturday we have snowfall counts that are probably going to be nearing four, maybe even five inches per hour in some localized area. That is a lot of snow falling in a very short period of time. So please, everybody, again, this is your opportunity to go get the things that you may need, shovels, snow blowers, food, and just hunker down for the weekend, right? Eventually, they'll be able to clear off the roads. You'll be able to clear off your driveway. Just Hunker down for the weekend. That's your best uh, opportunity to, to your best course of action, really, um, to keep yourself safe. And you can see again right around this Boston area, we've got 20, 20 plus inches. There, there's even the possibility of seeing thirty, maybe even thirty six inches on the higher end here in the Boston area. I would not be surprised if this dumps more than two foot of snow, so we get more than twenty four inches of snow right along the eastern coast of massachusetts here um so yeah pretty much this whole entire range you're going to be seeing very significant snow and again um the eastern edge of massachusetts you are really in the main target for this current system now i'm gonna go ahead and take a step back here real quick um just to talk about um the next coming systems we'll go ahead and look and we see that this system comes through dumps its snow down and now we are entering into february 2nd and on february 2nd you can see we start to get some of this snow accumulation in southern illinois southern indiana and that spreads across the majority of south central indiana into parts of ohio 
and then really outstretches across Ohio and the Great Lakes region. We can go ahead and move over here and take a peek at what this looks like on the visible precipitation. We can see there's kind of some precip starting right here uh, in the early morning of uh, Wednesday, February 2nd. And as the time goes on, we've got some freezing rain, some sleeting in here in the central parts of uh, Indiana and Ohio. So um, really this storm system is still pretty far out. So it has some inconsistencies but it also is something of concern. So we'll keep an eye on it. Um, we could be seeing another close to foot of snowfall in some areas in Ohio. It's it's definitely within the range of possibility. And Indiana, you will be finally, finally, at least you should be getting some snowfall that will actually be on the ground for a little. Um, and then things look uh, a little bit more quiet currently in the long range. But um, yeah, so that's what we're covering uh, as of right now. Again, I will reiterate it, uh, the east coast of Massachusetts in the Boston area, you could be seeing blizzard-like conditions, uh, 40, 50, maybe even up to 60 mile an hour wind gusts, snowfall rates of 3, 4, possibly even up to 5 inches per hour in some localized regions. That is a lot of snow in a very short period of time. Um, this is your opportunity to go get everything you need for shopping, um, really hunker down for the weekend. And that's your best course of action to stay safe. So that's all I have for you guys today. I'm going to keep you guys updated on uh, if, if there anything changes with the current system and obviously with the future system coming on February 2nd. Thank you so much for watching. If you like getting severe weather updates like this one, then I recommend, you know, leaving a like and subscribing. Um, obviously, I try to provide updates for you when I'm able to and as often as I can. So if you like updates like this, subscribing is the best recommendation. Otherwise, hope you guys have a wonderful night and uh, stay safe out there. Peace out.